Hey, it's Suffering Student here, and today we're going to having another Java FX tutorial where I will be focusing on how to get a stage, how to access your stage inside your initialize method. Because the way that Java FX is running when you start the program, you can't actually just directly access your stage in initialize because initialize is called before the stage is set. So, for example, in this case, this is taken from my other um, video series where I create a JavaFX UI design. I have a very basic design at the moment where you can drag it around in the top bar and the top bar only. And I am setting in this track function inside my initialize. But the problem is I need to set my stage change values for my anchor pane, which is the top bar in this case. And I need to set it on this stage, but I can't get the stage inside initialize. So that's the problem. What I did was just actually simply creating a static, uh, a static variable, and then just using the static variable. However, that's pretty bad in general to use static variables because they can be accessed like everywhere. So that's pretty bad, bad practice in general. So after some time, I figured out a better way. That is somewhat better. It's still not perfect, but it's definitely better. So what we will be using is actually this loading mechanism of JavaFX. So right now we're using FXML loader and loading something. So we're first going to create a FXML loader. We're just going to call loader and we're going to set this to a new FXML loader and we're going to give it the same information as previously where we will just get the class get the resources from a sample fxml file and where we previously just on one line created this loader and just loaded we can now use a loader to load and now the program will still work as normal but now we have access to a loader and what we then can do so we can create first like access our controller so we can create a new controller controller which is equal to the loader dot get controller so now we can actually access the controller inside our start method and then after we have set our primary stage to with the scene we can actually pass this stage to our controller so what we would do inside our controller is we would create a new method, which would simply be like a, a set method where we would first have like a, a stage, stage, private stage, stage, and then we would have a public void set stage, which would set our stage value. Take the input of a stage 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 and then we do this dot stage equals to stage so by this way we're going to be passing our stage directly to our controller and we'll therefore have access to the stage inside the controller from the start and we can then use our stage inside our initialize at the start as well so now we just need to pass to our controller so we have an instance of our controller controller dot set stage then just set the stage which in this case is our primary stage so now we have set the stage of our controller which in this case is the variable controller to stage which is the stage of the stage i hope it's not too confusing because it kind of is because we're kind of passing something from ourself to ourself, kinda, but it's just to make sure we have a stage from the right at the beginning. So now we can inside our initialize just use the stage we created as a variable. So now I will be able to run it again if I remembered everything. As you can see, and I'm still able to drag it around. And I thankfully got rid of my static stage object 
I had inside my main. So this is the basic setup I would use and I'll be using in this in the other series to pass a stage to my initialize at the beginning of the program. So if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe and I hope you all have a wonderful day.